Hi, welcome to this Stair Tailored. Now we're focused on representing fractions with the set model. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin, and I'm going to be your guide during this Stair Tailored. When we think about the set model of fractions, this means that we can take any set of objects and show a fraction with that set of objects. Often you could think about this as like eggs in a carton or crayons in a box, but I'm going to show you a few other examples with our fraction 3 fourths. Now the fraction 3 fourths, uh, when I show this with my manipulatives, it's always helpful to have it written here um, so I can show that I want to show the fraction 3 fourths. So I have the abstract form of the number, and then I'm going to use concrete manipulatives to also show the fraction 3 fourths. So for example, I can use these two color counters. They have, they're called two color counters because there are two sides, um, <laughs> there are two colored sides. So here if I want to show the fraction 3 fourths, first I'm going to show a set with a four equal parts because my denominator is four. But then I focus on the fraction. I want to show three of those four parts. So the nice thing about this is I can just flip them over to show the fraction three-fourths. We also have uh, manipulatives like this. These are some nice little plastic clips. And here you can actually clip them together to show the set. And with this thing, uh, part, I have three green clips and one red clip. So three-fourths of the clips are green. But then you can also use any set of objects. Let's say I've got some of these little cute animals here, all right? So I've got uh, three purple animals and one yellow animal. So three-fourths of the animals are purple. All of these represent the set model because I have a set of objects. And then if I change part of that set, I can show part of the fraction. So those were some examples of the set model of fractions. You can use a lot of different things here, so I hope you'll be creative in thinking about how you can help students understand the set model. Tune into some other stair tailors to see how we can use the area model of fractions and the length model of fractions.